Hello, I'm Don Shaw, and today we're going to do a pre-trip inspection on our Road Commission tandem axle truck. As we approach the truck, we're going to look for three things to start. We're going to look for lights, leans, and leaks. First, we're talking about leans. If the truck is leaning, there could be a possible suspension issue. Leaks, possible leaks of oil or antifreeze underneath the vehicle while it was sitting. Lights, we're going to make sure that all lights and light assemblies are not cracked or broken as we inspect the truck and the cab. Then we're going to pop the hood of the truck. We're looking for leaks again under the engine compartment area. We're going to be checking all of our hoses to make sure that they're not cracked, frayed, dry rotted, loose. Make sure they're properly mounted and secured and that they're not leaking. Next we're going to look at all of our belts. Check to make sure that all the belts are not cracked, frayed, dry rotted, loose and they're set to the proper tension. And have no more than three quarters of an inch of push at the center. Next we'll check our oil level to make sure that the oil is at proper fill mark. Next we're going to check the coolant level. We're going to make sure that it's at the proper fill mark. We're going to make sure that the reservoir is properly mounted and secured. We're going to make sure that the hoses don't have any abrasions, bumps, or cuts and that they are not leaking. Next we're going to move to the power steering fluid. We're going to check the reservoir to make sure that it's at the proper fill mark. Then we're going to find the water pump. We're going to make sure that the water pump is properly mounted and secured. Make sure that it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or loose, and properly mounted and not leaking. Check the fan and make sure that the fan is not damaged and that none of the blades are missing. Next, we're going to check the alternator. Make sure that it is not cracked, bent, broken, or loose, properly mounted, and that the wiring is not cracked or frayed and is in good condition. Next, you want to find your air compressor. You want to make sure that your air compressor doesn't have any audible leaks. You want to make sure that it's not cracked, bent, broken, or loose and is properly mounted. And after you've checked your hoses, belts, oil level, coolant level, check your power steering fluid, your water pump, your fan, alternator, air compressor. Now you're going to move on to the steering components. You're going to look down and you're going to find your pitman arm and drag link. Check your castle nuts, make sure that they're properly mounted and not loose. Look for shiny threads. You're going to go find your steering gearbox. Make sure that it's not cracked, bent, broken, or loose and it's properly mounted and not leaking. You're going to check your steering hoses to make sure they're not cracked, frayed, dry rotted, loose, and properly mounted and not leaking. You're going to look for excessive play in the steering linkage. I will check five parts, including all castle nuts, cotter pins. I will make sure that they're not cracked, bent, broken, or loose and that they are properly mounted with no missing parts. Other front suspension parts include your springs. Make sure that they are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose and they are properly mounted with no missing or shifted leaves. Mounts. I will check all three mounts. Front, center, U-bolts, to the rear. Make sure that they are not cracked, bent, broken, properly mounted with no missing parts. Damaged hangers or bushings. Shocks. Make sure that they are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose and that they are properly mounted and that the shocks are not leaking any fluid. After you've checked your front suspension, your steering gearbox, steering hoses, steering linkage, front suspension including springs, mounts, and shocks, you can now check your brakes. Check your slack adjuster to make sure that it is not bent, broken, or loose, properly mounted with no missing parts, and that there are no more than one inch of pull when the brakes are off or set to more than 90 degrees angle when the parking brakes are on. Check your brake chamber, make sure that it's not cracked, bent, broken, or loose, properly mounted and not leaking with any missing parts. Check your hoses, make sure that the hoses are not cracked, frayed, dry rotted, loose, properly mounted and not leaking. Now move on to your drum linings. Make sure that they are not cracked, bent, broken or loose, properly mounted with no presence of grease or oil on the linings and make sure they are not dangerously thin at least one quarter of an inch in thickness. Now move on to the rim, make sure that it is not cracked, bent, broken or loose, properly mounted with no welding repairs and that the rim is in good condition. Check your tire, make sure that there are no cuts, bulges or abrasions and or tread separation, uneven wear. Check that the tire inflation with an air gauge or a mallet. Tread depth should be no less than 4 30 seconds of an inch and the stems must not be missing and must have a cap. To the outside of the tire, hub oil seal. Make sure that it is not cracked, bent, broken or loose properly mounted and not leaking. Make sure that it's to the proper fill mark. Now check your lug nuts. Make sure that they are not cracked, 
bent, broken, or loose, and they are properly mounted with no rust trails or shiny threads. Make sure there are no cracks or distortions in the bolt holes or damaged studs. After checking your rims, tires, and hub seal and lug nuts, you move to the side of the vehicle and check your door. Make sure that the door is not cracked, bent, broken, or loose and properly mounted. Hinges and seals should be intact and secure. Doors open and close properly. Check your mirrors. Make sure that the mirrors are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose and that they are properly mounted. Check your fuel tank. Fuel tank lines should not be cracked, bent, broken, or loose, properly mounted, and not leaking. The cap should fit tight. Check your battery box. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, broken, or loose, and that it is properly mounted and not leaking. The cables and connections should have no excessive corrosion with caps on the cells. Get down and check your drive shaft. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, broken, or loose, and that it's properly mounted, and that the couplings are secure and free of foreign objects. Check your exhaust. Make sure it's not cracked, bent, broken, or loose, and that it's properly mounted, and that there are no soot trails that could indicate a leak. Check your frame from front to rear. Check that there are ribs and cross members and I-beams. Make sure they're not cracked, bent, broken, or loose, they are properly mounted, and there are no illegal welds. After you've checked your door, mirrors, fuel tank, battery box, drive shaft, exhaust, and frame, check the rear suspension. Check your springs. Make sure they are, not, they are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose. They are properly mounted with no missing or shifted leaves. Check your airbags. Make sure they are not cracked, frayed, dry rotted, loose, and properly mounted, and not leaking. Torque arms, if they are present. They are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose, and that they are properly mounted. Check all mounts. Three mounts from front to center. U-bolts and rear. Make sure that they are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose. They are properly mounted with no missing parts damaged hangers or bushings. Check your shocks. Make sure that they are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose. They are properly mounted and not leaking. Now moving inside out, check your rear tire for cuts, bulges, and abrasions. The minimum tread depth is 2 30 seconds of an inch. Check your spacing between your tandems for proper spacing. Make sure that it's free of debris. Check your rim. Make sure the rim's in good condition, properly mounted and secured, and should have no illegal welts. Check your lug nuts. Make sure the lug nuts are properly mounted and secure. Look for shiny threads and rust trails. Moving down to your hub seal, make sure the hub seal is properly mounted and secure and that the hub seal is not leaking any hub seal oil. After you check your springs, airbags, mounts, and shocks, you can move to the rear of the vehicle. The back of the vehicle should have 100% DOT tape coverage. Check your splash guards in a good condition and in proper height. Then check all lights and reflectors. Be sure they are properly mounted, not cracked, damaged, and fully functional. Once you've inspected the outside of the vehicle, you can move to the inside cab portion. Once the truck is started, you check your gauges. Your oil pressure gauge should rise rapidly to normal operating range. Temperature gauge should rise to normal operating range as engine warms. Your voltmeter should rise rapidly to normal operating range. Check your mirrors. Make sure your mirrors are not cracked, bent, broken, or loose. They are properly mounted and set to you. Check your windshield. No cracks, chips, properly mounted, clean, without any illegal stickers. Check your emergency equipment. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher that is fully charged, properly rated, and properly secured. Extra fuses or circuit breakers if equipped. And three red triangles. Check your steering wheel. Check for excessive steering play. No more than 10 degrees or 2 inches in a 20 inch wheel. Wipers and washer. Check them, make sure that the low speed and the high speed both work. Blades are not cracked, frayed, dry rotted, loose or missing. And washer is fully working properly. Check your light indicators. Check all four dash indicators. Right turn, left turn, four ways, high beams. Make sure they all work. High beam indicator might not work unless outside lights are on. Check your horn. Check your heater and defroster can be combined together. Fan works at all speeds, check all controls, work properly, not cracked, bent, broken, or loose. After you've performed your cab check, you can move on to the next step, which is your air brake check. Don't forget to do all nine steps to the air brake test, starting with your static air brake leakage test, service air leak test, low warning system check, spring brake valve, air pressure recovery check, governor cutout check, Governor cut in check, spring brake test, and service brakes. 
Check any defects on your truck against the automatic down list. Anything on the automatic down list must be repaired before the truck leaves the yard. And lastly, be sure to fill out a pre and post trip. It's not just RCOC policy, it's the law. If your truck fails any portion of the chest, the truck is down until it is repaired.